Hey guys, welcome right again, and today we're rebuilding the ER5 in my flat whilst the place is an absolute shithole and it is not prepared to be re re uh, rebuilding the bike. Malky's just carried the five ton toolbox inside for me. Now we're just fucking gonna have to start working on this. We've already taken the tank off and drained the coolant, just so we're not doing that in the flat. Although it's clearly leaked a little pud puddle there. But this is engine number four, you know, getting replaced with engine number five. Now this one is known as the bathroom engine. This one's a lot cleaner to be fair than the other ones. It's probably the best looking one we've had, but you know, for all the looks show for the inside. Does it mean the same thing? If you guys like or hate the ER5 content, leave me a comment down below and let me know why. Because I love it, I can't lie. Engines out. I've hurt myself in the fucking face with the socket and got pissed off and started launching shit and smashing shit up. As per fucking usual. And um, Malky's just taking the side cover off whilst I'm having a fucking rage break. And then, back to carrying on. Hey, engines bolted in. Now we're just fucking sorting everything else out. Changing the cooling system from the old fucking setup to the new one. Where this is going to be going here. So I can fill it up from outside the bike rather than fucking up there. Where it was before. Cunting thing. GPZ parts. Woo! So it came to a point where I need to remove the coolant manifolds from this to uh, take it off. Couldn't remove them individually as that one's completely stripped. And that one, I undid the bolt but couldn't get it out. I've uh, undone the whole rocker cover and now the entire thing is still stuck on because I can't get these two out and I've been trying for about two hours now. Fun. It is 3.44am. I've got Stephen Troy's podcast on in the background and I have only just now managed to get the rocker cover off. Got that side out. That's from the other engine. And then I finally just got this bit off here. Oh my god. <sighs> I now can't even get the rocker cover off because it doesn't fucking fit. Yeah, the ER one, which looks fucking identical to me, the silver, fits. The ER5 has pissed me off, so instead of riding the ER5 being all pissed off, I've jumped in the big block for a minute, gone to the shop, got myself some shit for Pancake Day because today's February 13th, Pancake Day, Strobe Tuesday. And yeah, time to go celebrate Pancake Day, I think. But. Not until I've done a big burnout in the big block, eh? Know what I mean? Big block burnout is a life. We've got to do a burnout in the big block, haven't we? We've got to. It's the rules. It's the fucking rules. It's time to make my way back home again. Fun times. I've also figured out, if I record myself with Snapchat, the audio quality goes to where it should be, yeah? But normally, yeah, the recording is down here, and it's shit. It's only this phone, since I've had this phone. Can't tell you why. Bit of a mad one, that, innit? But I'm in the big block! Hey! Hey! So I've just dropped the front engine mount, so the front engine ain't in anymore. Loosened the rear two off. It's dropped low enough that I can get the fucking rocker cover off. Fuck's sake. Yeah, this bolt here, and this one, ain't undoing. Because they used a fucking Phillips head. A fucking Phillips head! So I'm gonna weld a nut to it and take it off. This. This is what victory looks like right here. Yes! Now, time to get the rocker cover back on the fucking bike and get the old coolant manifold installed again. And then we might even be able to have this thing running tonight, you never know. <laughs> Woohoo! Cooling system is back on. Uh, Finally, nice and solid. <laughs> fucking mint. <laughs> Just going through the carbs, and you can see how good everything looks inside. That's because I had a fresh rebuild about one year ago. So I did a proper rebuild a year ago, but that float height ain't seeming right to me. To be honest with you. So I'm going to be adjusting all the float heights, etc. And doing all that and all. So we've got the airbox on it, etc. It's basically all nearly together now. Um, my new clutch cable's just arrived, because the old one, as we were taking it apart, as you can see, looks like it's about to fucking die. So, bought a new one. So I've just wound it back by hand, yeah? I'll turn my key on, I'll press the start button, and... Stops there, locks in. Now we'll not move, yeah? 
and I can even put my bar on it, right, and it'll just undo the bolt rather than actually fucking doing anything. Yeah, so I'll put some pressure on it quickly. It won't spin over, it's just undoing the bolt in the middle. Because it's locked, right there. Yeah, I first noticed all these metal shavings in here, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I see this part of magnet here, I was like, oh, probably from the fucking flywheel, because that's actually a common issue on these old engines, is their magnets do come apart. And obviously you can see all the shavings in there and all. But, um, and round there. there. But fucking, I just thought that was a magnet, but clearly there's something else up with it. And I can't see any other bits, I can't see nothing jamming the chain or nothing, like, you know? It all seems in place, apart from that magnet being fucked. Yeah, this engine's completely blown up. Right, so we're at a point where I think the bike might actually work, right? So what we're now going to do is we're going to take this flywheel off, because this is the GPZ flywheel. We're going to put the ER5 flywheel on it. We're going to put the ER5 side casing on, not this GPZ one, because as you can see, GPZ has two pickups, and both of those pickups are in the completely wrong place compared to the ER5 one, and it only has one little knob there, Ooh, rather than three knobs. So, yeah, this one's coming off, that one's going on, and then we're going to try and fire the fucking thing up. We've got... The side case on from the original ER engine. Woohoo! We've got the new starter clutch fitted so it spins over lovely without grinding. The chain is now on. The gear lever is now on. The wires are plugged in. The battery is charged. This plugged in. Ignition ready. Lights ready. She's ready. It's time for the petty tank and to see what happens. So, here's the dead engine one that we bought turns out to be dead fuming here's one that i've already fitted starter motor to matrix fiber i feel like both balls are fucking two stroke etc already just letting it soak through i don't give a shit ready to run it in this because i've already got fresh oil fresh plugs fresh filter fresh coolant all ready to go i need to get that in here now all the mounts are undone side of the frames off everything's off ready now what i do is bash the bolts out and drop this engine put that one in nice so, I've just noticed with this GPZ engine, the flywheel seems to actually match the ER5 flywheel unlike all the other ones I've ever had, right? So, if we just have a look here, you'll see dot, line, here, yeah, and then line. And everything matches up. Obviously, the ER5 flywheel is a lot thicker, etc. But a lighter flywheel means better revving, happier, do you know what I mean? More horsepower. But usually, the side cases also don't line up, right? So, we've got the ER5 side case here, nice and deep. GPZ side case. So the pickups there on that one, pickups there on this one, but there are bolt holes there that line up exactly with that pickup location. Look, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but that pickup would move straight over there. So I think I'm going to attempt to actually use the GPZ parts instead of the ER5 parts. So here we have new air filter, this is the old one here, and this has been in there since I bought the bike, so since the previous owner, and as you can see, the thing is absolutely fucking shagged. Then we grab the new one here, oh, she is brand spankers, fits lovely into the house in there, or as you can see this one, the sponge is missing, so it don't even fucking fit properly. I just see these guys broken down, thought, you know, may as well help the poor guys, sound lads. So that's it for today, thank you very much for watching, like and comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video where the ER5 hopefully stays alive. Fucking heap of shit.